So we've got Chef back up here, and he's going to do a little um, reduction, which is kind of how my boss makes me feel on Thursdays. <laughs> All right, how was the pasta? Great, great. All right, we're going to get started on some sauce for the uh, cheesecake, and we're going to use some uh, cherry wheat Samuel Adams. Who would have thought? Wow. This is good stuff, by the way. Goes great with the... Uh, the cheesecake. Well, basically what you're going to do here, probably want to find all the ingredients. The magic of TV. Okay. Gone bad. Yeah, really. Um, basically, while you, what I used to do, I take like a, about a cup of a cherry juice, like maraschino cherries juice, warm it up in a saucepan. Then you're going to, of course, add your cherry wheat beer and put it on like a medium flame that is on right no yeah it is on oh yes okay, yeah i okay. see the flames right now. so you got your six uh, six ounces of cherry juice six ounces of well actually 12 ounces but six ounces of a uh, cherry wheat beer you know me usually put like a couple ounces of sugar but you know we want it real sweet let's go like three, four ounces. So uh, go ahead and reduce that real good. You can see the fire is like shooting out everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Don't try this at home. Now, okay. Chef, what's, what does it mean to reduce? What does that mean? To actually take the liquids from the beginning stage and reduce it to shorten it. Oh. You know, you start with a full tank of gas, then you end up with a half a tank, then none. Yeah, that's kind of how I am every so, day. Well, you, you really want to reduce it probably about halfway and um, give it a taste. Tastes fantastic. Um, then you want to, to thicken it. To thicken it, you want to take a little uh, corn starch. I usually take like two tablespoons with a little water. I'll mix that in a bowl real good there. Great. Now, do you recommend using a finger for everybody, or just no? Only the chef. Can, only the chef can do okay. that. Okay, I'm only just checking. Chef can do, yeah. So we're gonna stir it up real good. Then you just pour that right into your reduction. And uh, everyone knows cornstarch is like a thickener. And uh, then you will end up with. Bam. Who drank the sauce? Oh, that was good. But anyway, you'll find on your cheesecakes the uh, the cherry uh, wheat uh, reduction, which are good, which should go great with that uh, Boston cheesecake. What do you guys got going on there? A date? <laughs> so I'm just checking. I didn't know that we're flipping the bill for your date. I feel like I'm doing a David Letterman's cheapest date going on here. What's? I'm just checking. So, sorry. Are you, you're finished. Oh yeah. Sorry, Sean. Okay. And uh, that's pretty much it. So enjoy the cheesecake. And uh, me personally, I want to thank everybody for coming out. I feel real comfortable. You can tell I'm not even sweating. <laughs> yeah, but thank you very much. All right, so this will be the last beer. This is the cherry wheat. And this is along the same style of the white ale that we had yeah, earlier, the same uh, wheat beer style. We brew this with just cherry. Michigan cherries and honey. So when you smell it, you can really smell the cherries. But a good, a fun thing to try with this is if you close your nose and then drink it, it's way less sweet. It's, 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 so it's a, people either think it's maybe sometimes a little too sweet if you don't really like fruit beers, but it's really just in the aroma. The taste itself, the aroma completely overpowers the, the actual taste. So it's, it's a really rich smell of cherries. Um, this was really popular during the cherry blossoms. Everyone was drinking this up. But um, so just Michigan cherries and honey. There's no artificial sweeteners in it. Um, and it's, it's a pretty unique beer, and um, we've had this around since 95, so it's, it's been around. And, and for the Guinness fans over here, it's really fun if you, have it on, if you can find it on draft and you do three quarters cherry wheat and a quarter Guinness, and do almost like a black and tan with it. We call it a chocolate-covered cherry, and it is delicious. <laughs>